What is going on guys? My name is Oblox and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll show you guys how to build a very simple and nice looking survival house. So let's get right into it. Alright, so as you guys could see from that cinematic, that is the house we'll be making today. So if you guys did realize as well, uh, this is a little bit of a edited version of the default texture pack and it's actually the System Z default edit. Um, I, I didn't remember to put the resource pack in the description last time, but I'll make sure to remember this time. So the big changes are that he made um, the dark oak into a cherry oak and I, I really like the wood in this texture pack so I'm going to be using it in this video. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a frame out of the cherry oak wood and this is basically what it looks like. It's just a little bit more red version of the wood and um, so basically what we're going to do is build up four blocks straight up and then three across from the top and then four like that. So you should have a three by three space in the middle and you can also break this bottom block out and have a three by three or sorry a three long kind of sideways pillar just like that so what we're going to do now is um, basically just bring this back three blocks and continue the same pattern two more times just like this so you should have a, um, a seven block difference between this first pillar and the second pillar um, and then we're going to do the same thing right here, just like this. And we'll bring this across as well, this one as well, and just connect it like that. And we're also going to break the blocks out in the center, just to connect them together, just like this, just to keep it consistent. And once we have it like this, uh, what we can do now is actually have a little bit of a part extending out. So we're going to do three like that and then just connect it like this. And we're just going to keep the same three by three kind of block pattern. And we're going to break these ones out as well just to connect them easily like that. So uh, this is the first floor of the house and this floor actually has three floors. Um, a main floor, a basement, and a top floor. So in the middle pillar, just in the middle here, uh, we're going to build up one, two, three, four, and we're going to go across three blocks, and then in the middle one, go up four, and then three blocks across, and then four blocks up. So that is the last part of the framing that's like on the exterior of the house. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to build in the walls. Now something about these walls is I use two different kinds of blocks. I use the oak wood planks and I use bricks. Um, so also in this default edit, the bricks have a little bit of a different texture and that's why I like using them because they look better in this one. So um, basically what you're going to do is uh, we're going to have a doorway uh, where these two blocks are so we don't want to fill this in. And we're basically just going to place random blocks um, and then just to create a nice looking pattern. And we're also going to want to have um, brick stairs and oak wood stairs. So that would be right here. And the other ones are right here. So um, right here we're going to have our doorway. So we're just going to have an upside down stair. So we can have it backwards like this and it'll look really good. And then um, if we go over to the right side, we're just going to have another uh, wall. Nothing too crazy. And then right here we are going to have our first window. So we're going to just uh, continue with our pattern and um, like this. And then right here is where we're going to put the glass panes. Now also in this texture pack he uh, made it so that the glass panes look a little bit more medieval so it has like the cross. Um, I'm personally not a big fan of this. I prefer the normal glass but uh, just because uh, for the the wood and the uh, brick texture I'm gonna keep it there 
So if we go around to the back side, we're gonna have another wall. So we can just fill the rest of this in with brick. Now it doesn't really matter um, like how you create your pattern. It doesn't like, I would try to keep it like different from all the other walls. Uh, I wouldn't want to duplicate the same kind of pattern, but we're just trying to make like a kind of like a medieval look to the house. Now, of course, if you're doing this in survival and you're, this is your first house, you do not have to have brick. Uh, the house would look fine if you just have normal oak wood walls. Um, but uh, right here in the front of the house in this little corner area, we are going to have another window. And uh, we're just going to have it do something like this. Um, and then right next to it, we should have another wall. So it should look something like this. Um, and then we have the top floor. Now, uh, for the top floor, uh, there's kind of like an, a cross kind of roof, so you don't actually have a full wall, so we're going to leave that um, until later on um, the front and the back. and then. But on the side, we can have a one full wall that just goes something like this. So we should have all the walls filled in for now. And uh, what we're going to do next is actually just clear our inventory, and we are going to grab cobblestone stairs, and we're going to get these spruce stairs. So I'm using the cobblestone stairs as kind of like an outer part to the uh, roof. Um, so what we're going to do is um, three blocks up, or I guess four blocks up and one block out to the side. We're just going to have the cobblestone stairs going all the way across and have it hang off by one block. Then we're going to do the uh, normal stair then upside down stair pattern um, all the way up until we get to the little part up here but in, and then we're gonna have it um, kind of hang off just like this and have it go all the way across just like that and then do the normal upside down and normal pattern until it connects at the very front just like this so uh, once we have that we can actually fill this all in with spruce stairs so I'm just gonna quickly skip ahead so that you guys don't have to watch this part Okay, so once you have finished uh, filling in your roof with spruce wood stairs, uh, later on we're going to have a window that's coming out of the roof, but we're going to do that near the end. So uh, what we're going to do now is finish the other side of the roof, uh, which is on the left side, and you're basically just going to come and do these exact same thing, so the normal upside down and normal uh, stair pattern, until you reach the side wall just like that, and you're just gonna have it go like that. But you're not gonna put it across the top, and you'll see why in a second. So you're just gonna um, do this, the normal upside down pattern, um, and then once you have this pattern all figured out, you should come to this little midpoint right here, and this kind of looks a little weird. So what I decided to do was take a cobblestone block, or just an upside down stair like that, um, but I prefer the block. It's really up to you, uh, but for some reason this texture is being a little weird and it doesn't look right, so I'm just going to do an upside down stair, um, but it's really up to you. Um, so then right here we're also going to have the it, have, ugh, it be filled in with spruce wood all the way across, but we're not going to have a window over here, we're actually going to have a chimney. Um, before we can get to that, um, we're going to fill in these little corner uh, walls. So we're going to grab our bricks and our oak wood, um, get the staircases as well, and basically just continue this little pattern, but we're only going to have like around half the space. Um, so we should have something that just looks like this. It, you're going to do the exact same thing on the front of the wall, or I guess the house, um, but I'm just going to do a pattern like that. And then we can go around to the back, and in this corner here, we can just do something maybe like that. And right here, we're gonna have a window, but because if you were to be centered, it'd be blocked by this uh, cobblestone stair. Uh, what we're gonna do instead is just not like, move it over to the right, one block, and we should have something that looks like this. And we're basically just gonna put a glass pane in there. Uh, the reason I'm not putting an upside down stair right here is because it would connect to the cobblestone stair and it would just look really weird. So we are basically finished for the actual exterior part of the house. So what we're going to do now is go inside 
with our floor material of choice, which is the stone slab. So what we're gonna do is just break out these three by three spots with the, um, that should be filled with grass or whatever block you're building on top of. And we're just, in this area over here, we're gonna fill it in with the stone slabs. Um, I'm just gonna put a pass pin there. And then this area right here is where our, um, our basement's gonna be. So once you break in these blocks out, you just wanna break one, two, three, four blocks more and break all of these out just like this. So um, once you have this all broken out, you should have one more three by three area, which is right here. And you're gonna wanna break this out as well. So uh, one, two, three, four blocks, and then just connect it like that. So you should have a nice open pit at the bottom. And basically on this fourth block right here, you just wanna fill it in with a three by three, and then wanna continue this pillar going all the way down and have it go across like that, and then three up. And then you wanna have your three slabs going across like this. And then in these areas, you're gonna to wanna to fill it in with the bricks and oak wood planks. Um, so we're just gonna break these three by three areas out of the dirt. And once we have that, we should be able to fill it in with our wall materials. Um, except for in this little area over here, I dedicated it to an enchantment area. So we're just gonna leave this area for now. But in this area over here, these three walls, we should just fill it in with our uh, bricks and our oak wood. And we should have nice looking kind of rustic feeling to our little basement area so we should have something like this um, so for now we're just gonna leave it like this and we'll come back to it later uh, so right here we're just gonna fill this in with a uh, eight stone slabs and we're just gonna leave this corner open and you're gonna come do the same pattern just on the top here so you should leave that corner right here open and then you just wanna fill this in like that. So you should have a nice full floor like this. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is grab a ladder and we're gonna go up to the top floor, but we're just gonna place it like this and go all the way up until we reach the top. And then on the top here, we're just gonna have another three by three stone slab floor. And then we're gonna leave this space open. Um, so. For the inside, what we're going to do is just on top of this, you're just going to have um, upside down stairs and you're going to also have that right here. Um, it's a little cramped, I know, but um, it'll look really good. So um, underneath here, since you can't really put anything under here, uh, what I decided to do was grab a spruce wood blocks and just have it all the way across. You should have a two uh, block of width area to walk from and uh, right here actually we're gonna break this middle block and just have this go all the way up like that so it should create a nice little pillar and uh, what we can do in this little area is we can take our oak fence and just place it in the center like that of these two little areas um, potentially on this top one right here just place a torch and then maybe take like a pot or something and just put it right there so as I mentioned before, we are gonna have a window right here. So what we're gonna do for that is take these blocks, break these little three by three right here and fill it in with blocks. Um, we can place the stair back there and uh, we're gonna take the glass pane and put it in between there and then take our spruce wood slabs and just slap three of them right on top like that. So it should have a nice little window for when you're upstairs, just like this. So this looks really nice and I think it adds a lot to the roof since it's not just a plain uh, spruce wood roof. So uh, now that we have this all figured out, um, we're gonna go back downstairs and complete this little enchantment area that I had planned out. So what we're gonna do is grab our enchantment table and we're gonna grab our bookshelves and we're also gonna grab these two blocks back as well. So on the left side, we're just gonna place a two by three and then we're gonna do the same thing and have it go all the way across. And I'm 
quite sure that if you were to break these ones out as well in the corner and if you really wanted to you could put your bookshelves up there but for just like the look of it I'm gonna make it um, so that we don't have a, have it so crowded um, so we're just gonna do something like this um, and then in the center here, this is optional, but I'm going to put some glowstone on the bottom right here and then just put an enchantment table on top. But if you cannot do that, you can just place a torch maybe right here or right here and then just put a enchantment table and you should have full enchantment. Hopefully I haven't tested it, but it should work fine. So, um, in this little open space here, um, what you can do if this is a survival house, then you can just take a bunch of chests and place them like that. And because it's a slab, you should be able to open that. And if you really wanted to, you could put another one right here. Or I guess not. Hmm. I guess you could do something like this and then have like three of them right there or something. But it's really up to you. Uh, I'm just going to keep it like that. So um, once we have this all figured out, we're just going to go up to the top. And uh, over here is where we're gonna have our furnace and our crafting table. So we should have something that looks like this. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some brick slabs and brick stairs and just put one upside down stair, then that to make kind of like a, um, kind of like a little table kind of. Um, but also upstairs uh, in this little space right here, I'm going to just place uh, two chests and then you can take, um, I guess we could grab, um, say, a spruce slab and just put it on top just like that. And uh, once we have this, um, just for aesthetics and to help it look a lot better, I'm just going to put three cobblestone walls to have it look like it's kind of taking the smoke out and putting it into our chimney that we'll add in later. Uh, so right here I'm just going to have a white tulip in a pot just like this and this is basically our little kitchen and over here we can have say a painting on the wall it'll look something like that and then I'm going to use our cherry oak um, or dark oak stairs and make little seats like this and then we can grab a uh, I guess we can grab a cherry oak fence and then in this texture pack he changed some of the wools to look like different things so this looks like a barrel top and I don't remember which color it used to be but uh, I'm just gonna place a sideways um, fence gate and then place that on top and it creates a really nice looking table um, and then We'll just leave that like that. And then right here, what we can do is grab two bookshelves and place them like right there. Uh, we can grab a plant and rest it on top like this. And then um, we can grab an armor stand and put it right next to it. So that's where you can put your armor. Um, and then that'll be it for this little um, main area and then we can go upstairs uh, where we can have say another chest an anvil um, a bed and we can do something like this where we can put a little chest at the bottom or something like that and um, you can put like an anvil like right here um, I know there's not a lot of room to really do much but that's kind of what I'm gonna go for and um, What's next is not necessary, but another part of the texture pack makes one of the walls look like a thatch. I don't know, really know what it is, but it kind of looks like a, an old kind of carpet. And I'm just going to put it randomly around the house to kind of give it a little bit of more texture on the ground. Um, so we're just going to put this on every single floor, top floor, second floor. Uh, basement and uh, that should be good um, so just gonna put it around like that should look good and then uh, finally I'm just gonna grab this torch and put it right here just to give a little bit more light 
and that should be good. And to finish off, I'm gonna grab a cherry oak door, which is also a custom door, and it looks like this, and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, so the last thing we're gonna do on the actual house itself is we're gonna grab cobblestone, the stairs, and slab. We're gonna grab a cobblestone wall, and we are gonna have some smoke or the cobble, or sorry, the cobwebs. So um, the little thing I put on the inside is around this little mid area, and what we're gonna do is basically just create kind of our own custom little chimney, um, and I think it'll look really, really nice. So um, we're gonna have it kind of um, leaning off to the side. Um, like this and then just put a cobblestone wall on top and then a slab um, it looks a little top heavy so I'm just gonna make it go down by one block and maybe have it go up like this maybe I don't know this is really all up to you you don't actually have to do this um, but I think it looks really good on the house so uh, we're just gonna put a little bit of smoke off to the side and just break it up a little bit so you should have something that looks like this it is a little crazy um, this isn't really necessary but I think it looks pretty good so the final thing that we're gonna do is add a path and a little garden in the front so what I'm gonna do for that is grab um, wooden pressure plates oak wood coarse dirt uh, leaves grass ferns reserve bluettes um, white tulips and a double tall grass and in this little corner here is where I'm gonna have our little garden so we're just gonna break this out um, like that I'm gonna just have it come out like this we can have um, these going across like this and then just have a pressure plate on top of all of it just like this we can maybe even extend it out a little bit just to give it a little bit more space and we should have something that looks like this and then in here we can just place around our our grasses and our um, ferns and all of our plants um, and it should look something like this and then that's our little garden area and then for our path, what I'm gonna do is just take a shovel. Um, so we'll just take a shovel and then we'll just create a little path using this newer block that's been added to Minecraft. Now you can just use cobblestone or like any kind of gravel looking block, but this should look really nice. So that is really it for this tutorial, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you guys did not see my last two videos on, on the Mun Tutorials 101 channel, definitely go and check them out, and um, this should be uh, probably this, this should be the second video of this week, and I'm planning on trying to upload daily, or at least two or three more times, so uh, I'll see you guys um, later in the week, hopefully, and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to Modern Tutorials so you can see Modern when he comes back from his vacation. And anyways, guys, my name is Oblox. I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial once again, and I am out.